Question 14. Now, question talks about drawing a histogram. So the very first thing that you should be doing for a histogram, remember, is that frequency density equals frequency, oops, there we go, over class width. So I'm not going to worry too much about the histogram first. I'm just going to calculate these. So the first one is 13 divided by 10, all right? 10 because of that part just there. So 13 divided by 10 is 1.3. 16 divided by 5 is 3.2. 18 divided by 5 is 3.6. Oops, a very dodgy 3. And 22 divided by 10 is 2.2. And the last one, 12 divided by 20 is 0 0.6. So get this lot first. Now we go and draw our histogram. So when we're drawing a histogram, so it goes from 90 to 140. So let's just put those points in. So we've got we got 90, we've got 100, 110, apologies about not fitting mine on, 120, 130, 140. Well, that's not too bad. So this here is the speed and it's our uh, sorry, our frequency density is going to be our vertical axis. So it goes up to the biggest one is 3.6. So it's probably easier if I go 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. Just that. Now we're going to draw these in. So Let's draw these in. Obviously, you're going to use a ruler. I'm going to do it nice and quick for you. So the first one comes at 1.3. So 1.3 is about there. Coming down to 100. The next one goes up to 3.2. Which uh, I'm going to put in there for you. But it only goes across to 105. So there we go. And then the next one goes up to 3.6, and it's going across to 110. So we get two narrow bars there. And then we're going to go up to 2.2, and it goes from 110 to 120. So it's around about there. And then the last one's going from 120 to 140 at 0.6. So that's around about there, slightly high. Not too bad. There we go. Right. Now, on the last bit. So there's the histogram done, right? Great. Now, on the last bit, it says find an estimate for the median. Now, altogether, there are 81 cars. So I want to find out which car is like the middle car. So the car that I'm looking for is the 40 point five car. You could argue it's actually the 41st car, but when n is reasonably large, it doesn't make too much difference. Um, it would be allowed, both of those, in, in, in an exam. So I'm looking to see where that car is. All right. Let's have a look at the cumulative frequency as we go through. So the first one, there are 13 up to there. There are 29 up to there. Now, wait a minute. If I add 18 to this, that's going to give me 47. So I know it's in here somewhere, but we want to try and be a little bit more precise than that. So 47, right? So we've got 29. How far into the group actually is it? So if we do 40.5, Five, take away 29, all right? Why 29? Because there's 29 before it. 
So that gives me 11.5. So we are 11.5 the way into that group. So the lower class boundary of the group is 105. Now we're going to add the fraction that we're into the group. So we are 11.5 the way into the group. And there are 18 in the group all together. And the width of the group is 5. Just there. And if we work that out, that gives us 108.2. So I think it's probably fair to say about 108. And it's kilometres per hour. Like I said, you could argue a little bit about this 40.5. You, you could quite easily just take that. It's 40. Um, well, there you are.